I've already taken a couple off this vine, but look at that trombone squash right there. Look at that. Nice. Check it out, guys. I love trombone squash, and there are so many reasons um, as to why I love it so much. Um, probably my, my number one reason is because, well, one, it tastes great. You can use it as uh, uh, a summer squash or a winter squash, and it stores great uh, throughout the winter. But other than the taste, um, it is the squash bugs and, and the uh, vine borers stay away from it. They don't like it. You know, I've been growing this for four or five years now, and no problems with bugs whatsoever. And it hardly gets um, mold or funguses stays green for most of the year you know until the very end you know the grow, growing season and uh, it loves growing up trellises I've got this cattle panel trellis here that I just put up this year um, to keep my dog out and everything on here for the most part is trombone squash there's probably I don't know four four plants on here five maybe um, and they were volunteers I didn't plant this um, they, they just started growing. I think I uh, left a butternut or trombone squash out here over winter and uh, lo and behold here comes here comes some plants. So um, I just let it go and, and uh, it's been producing big time, big time for us and it looks great. Look at this. Look at this beautiful plant. Well plants I should say. And it's, it's producing fruit vegetables, whatever you want to call it, produce, lots and lots of produce, and it's very low maintenance. Um, I've got uh, one volunteer that started here, and then it's trucking all the way down the fence line here, and that's a good, that's a good, I don't know, 20 feet, and it's starting to go up the fence there, because it has no more room. Uh, it's going through the fence, and it's uh, making its way back, actually. Um, then I've got another volunteers on the other side of the cattle panel that are trucking up this uh, cattle panel fence, you know. And I think there's a butternut squash in there too, you know, but, uh, you know, it's it just produces and produces. Here, here's actually two plants. Yeah, there's, there's the tip of one and the tip of another one right there. And they just grab a hold and truck right up on that, that cattle panel. That's probably, now you stretch that puppy out, that's about a foot and a half, two feet. Oh, there's another one. There's another one coming right there. Inside. There's another one down there. And they taste great. You know, cook them up just like you would a zucchini. And on this trellis over here, You know, we've got more, more growing up. I got a zucchini on this trellis here. And look, there's another one there. But uh, if you want to grow, grow a, a squash that, that is bug resistant, at least to the squash bugs and vine borers. Um, I don't have hardly any problems with it, uh, molding or, or getting funguses or anything like that. Um, very low maintenance this is the the squash you know the two that i would recommend the uh trombone squash and butternut squash awesome also acorn squash acorn squash you know they'll they'll vine out they don't get as long as this uh trombone squash um but this trombone squash is i love it grow it every year and it does so well it does so well every single year. It gives me so much produce, and everybody loves it. The taste is awesome.